Hey, child of God, it's been said that if you don't like where you are in life, chances are there's something you don't know yet. How do you, how, well, how do you find out, how do you move from one level to the next? Seven words. Read your Bible, do what it says, and in reading the Bible, you will see that Jesus, well, He's our standard, our model, our inspiration, our motivation. And, and through the Word, He will direct you and I on how to maximize our strengths to move from where we are to where the Word of God says we can be. Listen to these nine examples in the life of Jesus. Number one, Jesus was always improving Himself. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Number two, Jesus guarded against time leaks. John chapter 9, verse 4 in the Living Bible. All of us must quickly carry out the task assigned us by the one who sent me, for there's little time left before the night falls and the work comes to an end. Number three, Jesus understood the importance of timing. John chapter 2, verse 4. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Number four, Jesus instructed those around him to forget the past and move on. John chapter 8, verse 11. Verse 11. Jesus said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. But I want to give you one more scripture in this one. And that's Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 and 22. Then, then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. Jesus said unto him, I say unto thee, until seven times, but until seventy times, seven. Number five, Jesus was a good steward of his God-given resources. John chapter 6, verse 12 and 13. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled the twelve baskets. Hey, they had leftovers for dinner that night. Number six, Jesus knew the value of praying when facing a big decision. Matthew 26, 42. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Number seven, Jesus dealt with problems immediately. Didn't put them off. Dealt with them immediately. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Number eight, Jesus believed in proper, well, let's say it this way. Jesus believed in prior, proper planning. Luke chapter nine, verse 51 and 52. It came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up. He steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem and sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered to the village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And number nine, Jesus began each day with proper preparation. Mark chapter one, verse 35. And in the morning rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place. And there he prayed. These are just nine, nine keys to, well, to maximizing your strength so that you can, well, stop looking at where you are and begin to anticipate where you're going to be. You've got to maximize your ability, your potential, and there's no greater model than the life of Jesus. And that's what I call some rich thoughts.